everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 4 of Darwell20's Let's Play of Create Arcane Engineering. Uh, today, I am throwing together a smithing table so I can use the first andesite machine that I've made to make an encased fan. Hooray! Quest complete, quest complete. All the quests are complete. Sweet. Uh, and that got me an extra propeller, which is nice. Uh, I will probably need another encased fan at some point. Uh, but not just yet. The main reason I wanted this is for washing. Um, so let's 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 consider how we're going to set that up. Uh, what I might do uh, is make another basin. That sounds cool, right? What was that again? Basin? No, not basin. Uh, depot. I think those are easy enough. Yeah, depot uh, to wash off some stuff potentially. So what if I said, hmm, how could I do this? How could I do this in a way that's cool? Like, ultimately, I would like maybe a trap door? That could be neat. Maybe one more trap door? I'm not too sure. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna experiment here. Yeah, like there is where I'm thinking. But can I do you here? Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. I want like a trap door like there. I've never done it this way and I just feel like trying. So bear with me while I try this. But it could be fun, right? And then you go there, right? Um, and that could be neat. It could be. I'm not saying it definitely will be, but you know, it could be. Now, how would I want you to gear box your way over to this guy? Uh, I guess ultimately it would be like this. And then the question would be, what direction are you going down? Perfect. Windmaker. Never done it this way. Thought it would be fun. Now, is that sufficient to wash? That's an exceptional question. Uh, so bulk washing, let's pick a thing to wash that's like easy. And we'll see what we can do. Can't we like get lint from washing? We can, if we throw gravel in there. So my question is, will this be like, will this work? I'm oh, gonna, gonna figure it out. So all I need is a bit of gravel and we should be cool. So can I just do this and that'll count as washing or no? I might need to do that. That counts as washing. That does not, that's kind of interesting. I like that. That's cool, right? That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat looking. That's kind of cool. I don't know what I just picked up, but it worked. Uh, and the reason I wanted to do this is because I wanted to get this mineral sapling thing going. So it looks like quest wise, um, you know, one of my goals here, I think I need to start with the improbable sapling. I think I need to get a mineral sapling. So for that to work, we're going to need to rejuvenate a mineral shrub that I have and then mix it with mineral berries. No heating required though. And that should work. So why don't I get one of you, right? So that should rejuvenate it in theory. Cool. And then I mix it with eight of these guys, right? And that gets me a mineral sapling. Sweet. Uh, which will get me more mineral saplings. And then uh, I've got my mineral shrub. It's weird that the quest line went this way. Um, I don't know why it went this way, but it did. Um, so the only thing we can do with these mineral shrubs is wash them. So there's no reason not to. And then the only thing we can do with these is mix them with berries to make saplings. So again, there's no reason not to. However, we need eight berries in order to mix them properly. 
So that's cool, right? Look at that. All right, neat. And I got another one of those engineers toolkits that we can right click to open, but I'm gonna hold off on that. Now, why you know quest? Oh, you did quest complete, sweet. All right, so let's now go get, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this away again. Do they stack? They do not. Okay, no worries. Uh, let's get our mineral logs now, which is a quest completion for us. Sweet, another engineer's toolkit. Something we're gonna wanna look into opening someday. Um, and then we wanna get stripped mineral logs. Quest complete. And now obviously we're gonna wanna automate all this, right? We'll get there. Give me a minute. Cool. Uh, and then mineral planks. Uh, I guess we can we can saw. Or we could obviously go this route too, right? Uh, but if we saw, the nice thing about that is that we if we saw a stripped mineral log, which we can get by sawing a regular mineral, then we get six planks, which is perfect for making slabs, right? Uh, Cause we can saw that, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm down with that idea. I like that. Let's get a saw um, and kind of, and kind of go from there. Do we have a saw? I don't think we found a saw, but we can get one. Uh, we just need a saw blade. Which seems easy enough. We're gonna want some of that smelted up. You know what we need? We need more of this. But it's at least enough to get me a saw blade, right? Which I can then make this dude with. Quest complete. Easy tree chopping. And we get a free saw blade. Nice. I should clean up my inventory as usual. So let me go do that. And then I'm going to attach the saw blade. So that's like my little like manual area over there, right? And we will, uh, we will likely be uh, doing things better soon. But for now, I just need like, I need all the manual stuff to exist so that I can, yeah, so we'll be right back. So I'm pretty sure... I can just manually this thing, right? Um, and what we'd wanna do is have a vertical and then another vertical. So close. Cool. So now, can I just right click these on or drop them on? Well, it's not it's not right click. I'm pretty sure I can, yeah, there you go. Sweet, manual planks, right? And then I think I can do that. And that's cool, right? Nifty. At least for obviously very temporary, right? We're not gonna we're not gonna be doing this long term this way. Uh, but then kinetic mechanisms are simply deploying andesite alloy and saw, and that is a lot easier to get going. Uh, but before we get to that point, we should look at how we're gonna get crystallized mineral chunks. Um, so what's the drops from mineral trees, in particular the enchanted mineral logs? Perhaps there are more ways to get this though. Yes, wasn't there a way? So we could saw a block of crystallized mineral, uh, which can come from the drying basin. Alternatively, um, we can squeeze the logs to get that once we get a mechanical squeezer, but I suspect that's probably a little ways off. I don't know what tier that is, but it seems far into the future for me. Um, and it doesn't look like the manual squeezer will work for that. But didn't we see that we could get this from here? Yeah. Although regular squeezer does work for manual resin. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, we can do the manual squeezer. But like we could do this and then you can, um, you can do mineral enriched rubber, which is cool. You can drying basin, which might be automatable. Um, Do 
Do you cast in anything, or is that just filling with liquids? I think that's just filling with liquids. Yeah. So we'll look into that in a bit. But let's do this thing to automate the andesite alloys. Does that sound cool? That might not be a terrible idea, right? So I think we want to get mineral tree automation happening. Uh, and then we also want to get this automation happening, and that would be a good start. Um, we're definitely going to need some deployers too. Now there is something I'd like to try, and I'm going to borrow this saw blade for a minute. What happens if I do this? Ha ha ha! I had hoped that would work. I, I really hoped that would work, and it very much did, didn't it? Didn't it? That is a cool trick, isn't it? Ha ha ha! There you go. Who needs a tree capitator when you have create? Oh, that is cool. Oh, 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 oh that is cool. How, how cool is that? How cool is that? Right? Boom. That's a nice way to fell some trees. Because my thought is I'm probably going to want to set up this uh, this mineral automation here. And I was like, well, i got to clear out all these really tall trees that look annoying to chop down. Annoying no more, my friends. Annoying no more. Uh, that is far easier to cut down uh, than not. Just note that it looks like it only breaks above. So uh, if you really want to make sure it gets everything, make sure that you uh, place the saw such that it's 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 hitting the very bottom blocks. Cool. Just keep that in mind. That's a that's a little thing. Like if we wanted this guy to work, we should probably go here. But make sure it's there. And it's actually pretty quick, too. Alright, that one did not work as well. There you go. Nice. Probably not a bad idea to chop this one, too. Well, again, didn't work perfectly, but you get the idea. Mostly works. Now nah, we're cooking. Okay, that's cool for me. Oh, don't forget hand cranking equals lots of saturation usage. I was like, why am I so hungry? Oh, right, that's a thing that happens, isn't it? So remember that broken down nether portal? Has lava added. Boom, quest complete. Ha <laughs> ha uh, So that will be used to make cobblestone, apparently, that I will then wash and process into uh, andesite. So that should be good. Hello, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, so you and you will make uh, cobble gen, which will use a drill uh, to get going, right? So now we just need some cobblestone, which shouldn't be too big of a deal, and the drill. So let's just do this, actually. Bing, bang, quest complete, just to make everybody happy. Um, so I'm guessing we need the mechanical drill for this. So that's going to be my last andesite machine that I currently have. But we can obviously make more. And I'll probably just make a few more off camera uh, for what I need. Uh, did I put them away? Nope, I still have it in my inventory. Good. And I'm going to put this mineral stuff away for a minute just because uh, I, don't, I don't need it right now. For what we're working on. We will need it soon, but not just yet. And maybe I'll put away all these metals, too. Cool. And you can go away. And that's a little bit cleaner of an inventory. Cool. All right, so for the mechanical drill, we're going to need a drill head, uh, which will need some of this. Okay. And the drill head attaches in here. And that's our first foray into automation for us. Cool. So let's set up um, 
I'm feeling like down here might be a cool place to do this thing, right? Um, Cause in my mind, I'm envisioning what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a drill to break the cobble and then that's gonna feed onto a belt that will probably mill the cobblestone into gravel. And I'm hoping I can do that with belts, right? Can I do a millstone on a belt? I can extract. Can I insert? I think I could I could probably drop in on the top, worst case, right? Throw or insert items on the top. So I can drop into the top of the mill and then extract, right? Um, and that'll get us the gravel. And then from there, we just need to wash the gravel or smelt it, actually. So fan plus lava equals andesite, okay? Uh, and then we'll get our andesite alloy by mixing crystallized mineral chunks with andesite, okay? And then we'll have those guys relatively well automated. Cool. And we'll get these crystallized mineral chunks um, from the tree farm. So let's start with this line because that'll be more fun to put together. And then we'll also do the tree farm for mineral saplings and stuff. And then we have to do the mineral sapling washing process, right? So we'll need to... We'll need to route berries and all that stuff. That's gonna be a complex setup, but I think we can do it. I think we should be cool. We're definitely gonna need some of these portable storage dudes. We're gonna need some deployers. So how about I make a bunch of stuff off camera uh, and let's also start with you. Maybe I should start my kelp farm first. Does a kelp farm sound good? Cause we're gonna need a lot of belts, right? We're gonna need a lot of belts. The other problem is there's, there's definitely like, are feral flares in this pack? Yes, but I need brass machines, which need precision mechanisms, which look like they're the next tier. So there's 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 a cave underneath me, and I keep trying to go in there and light it up, but I keep not doing a good enough job. It's here. This is my this is my cave entrance. You can see I tried lighting it up down here. I can just try again. Baby zombies. The worst. All right, so let me do a little bit of crafting uh, and let's get the kelp farm. I think that should be like, really that should be my priority right now. We can automate that relatively easily, I think at this point. I think so. I think so. So for that, we're going to need the harvester, right? Uh, let's remove some things from the to-do here. I'll leave that stuff up. So yeah, the harvester just needs another andesite casing, which I can make manually real quick. Um, or I could do a little bit more automated with the good, the good kinds of things. Let me get five more of these and then we'll stop making these going on, right? All right, so there's a new andesite casing. And then I think it was just, uh, what was it to make these? Uh, we just need a stone cutter, which seems easy enough. I might need... I could also saw it, but the stone cutter lets me pick what I want. If we wanted to automate it, we'd want to saw it, but then, like, uh, we'd have to, like... We'd have to like specify the output, otherwise you'll get a random output. So we want to manually make it with a stone cutter so we can specify which of these many things we want. Cool? Okay, so that'll get me two harvesters that we can then use to set up um, a little bit of a kelp farm, like a nice tiny one. So, stone cutter, right? And I'll put this outside along with the other manual things, right? So then this goes in here and I say I want a mechanical harvester, right? And this is what'll give me access to kelp. I probably want um, a piston. Does that sound right? Yeah, do we have one of those by chance? We have some piston extension poles, so that's cool. Uh, we will probably want a portable storage interface. Uh, and we will probably want andesite funnels. Yeah, that's a quest complete, cool. Uh, we probably want a piston, a mechanical piston. That seems pretty easy to get. You know what I can even do? I can even use my mineral slabs that I already made. Haha. -ha. 
I think I need it to be a sticky piston, though. What are my options for making that sticky? I can make slime balls with this mod, can I? Lime dye and dough, which is just uh, washed wheat flour, which is milled. So I should make a millstone real quick. Luckily, that doesn't require an andesite thingy, so that should be easy. Cool. Is it dark out? It is. I should just make it eternal day, shouldn't I? I should consider it at least. Now you, Mr. Millstone, I'm pretty sure Yeah. Can you can you go on the If I had a vertical gearbox here, would that be? Oh, that is sufficient. Nice. Okay, cool. And then we can put our mechanical saw back. That kind of works. It's a little bit. Let's. It's a little bit janky, but it kind of works. Uh, also, is there like a nifty bone meal uh, thing for this guy? Uh, yeah, you get excess bones out of that, right? For sure. So let's get bone meal so we can get some wheat. So we can get some slime. And then we just need lime dye, which we'll figure out in a minute. Uh, so we wanted some seeds. Might not be a bad idea right now to get a little wheat farm going on somewhere. Like a little manual one, just to get started. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy, right? Since this is where my manual uh, other farm is, right? And if I need to, I'll cut down these trees in a bit. But for now, this will be uh, a sufficient little, little farm. I kind of wanted it expanded from there. Let me go get some more dirt without having to mine it. Yeah, so my thought is get a little wheat farm. A, it'll be nice for food options down the line because I haven't really set up food yet. And then B, obviously, um, we're going to use it for, for slime balls. All the infrastructure. Sweet. And maybe just... That works, right? And then I'll start it here-ish. And then I just need a, well, you know what I need is uh, some wood. Cool. Well, we kind of already have enough of that. I'll just do an iron hoe for now. Why can't I right click you? It's weird, right? I can't actually, because you're lush grass blocks. Super annoying. I'll just do a three by three. Oh, that's cool. Pose kind of break a bunch of these blocks all at once. That's a neat trick. But new ones are showing up from above. That's less cool. <laughs> that's more like uh, annoying.
Looks like chopping down that tree is in my immediate future. Okay, that's probably good enough for now, right? Now, I will get bone meal and just grow a few of those so that we can kind of get this rolling. So seeds go away, bone meal get, and then I should have no problem dropping... Does this hurt me, by the way? Oh yeah, it totally does. Just checking. How about four of you? Sweet. Embrace the grind. Really do need a... Uh, what I really, really need, like really, really, is a trash can. Because I've got so much junk that accumulates in my mind. I, sh I should just add a trash can mod. That wouldn't be cheating, right? I don't think so. I think it's fine. Because I've got, like, all this junk. I really should also upgrade my backpack, too. That's also on my to-do. I'll put that in there, and then you come with me, and let's get some wheat. And then we have to figure out lime dye. That's going to be uh, less straightforward, I think. Okay, cool. So there's that. Now for lime dye, that's going to need uh, cactus greens or green tulips or sea pickles. Or lots of other things can make it, obviously. So do we have anything that would look lime-ish? Otherwise, I can probably just pop over to a... What I'll probably do is pop over to a desert and get a cactus and start growing some of that. But for now, you can mill your way into making wheat flour. Nice. Okay. So, so slime balls, that's that. You know, alternatively, I don't think there's much. Uh, I mean, there is tinkers in this pack, so we might find some slime islands laying around somewhere, but I haven't necessarily seen any just yet. And if I'm going to make a kelp farm, we definitely need a sticky piston to, like, push and pull, right? There we go. Wheat flour. Sweet. And that's used with lime dye to make the thing, right? Uh, is there any other trickery to this? Yeah, we're going to need to find cactus, I think, is going to be your best bet. So let's see, are there any deserts in the immediate area? There's a Yellowstone biome. This is beach, so generally there's not cactuses on beach. Um, that is flourishing arcwood trees. This is Yellowstone as well. Not seeing much. This one's also probably a beach. Yep. Well, I found lily pads and sugar cane. But no cactuses yet. Do they sometimes have cactuses and witches' huts? That could be cool. You check, right? Hello, cat. Oh boy. See you later, alligator. There you go. No, no cacti in there. Just need something that'll give me lime dye. I see some vines too, which is nice to know that these exist over here, because I think you can use those to do something cool. Can you do those? Can you do something cool with vines? I feel like there was something cool. Rubber, that's right. Yeah, you could use a bucket of water and vines to make rubber. Okay, that's fair. Reliquary's in the pack too. I remember Reliquary having some really powerful and OP items. So that could be cool. All right, hunting around some more. All right, so I didn't find cactuses, but I found a slime island. So I popped up here. That works, right? That's probably enough slime to hold me over for a while, to be honest with you. 
Uh, what I should do, though, is not have something in my inventory. What can I get rid of? You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you away. And that should be relatively safe. Um, maybe I can put away you and my buckets. That should be cool. And then I'll just harvest these bad boys. That works, right? And then I don't think I'm going to snag um, any of the trees, but I can come back for them at some point if I decide I need slime trees. Cool? All right. Good deal. Let's pop home now. Um, down here. Yeah. Hello, home. Good to see you again. No real difference than just doing slash home in, you know, any other pack that usually allows that kind of thing. So now I can use my wheat flour for something else if I so decide. Sweet. All right. So now uh, I can use uh, this guy to get myself a sticky piston, right? Uh, so we were looking at pistons. Did I ever make one? I don't think so. And then I need you to be sticky. Nice. Okay. And then I think there was uh, a few other things that we would probably want, right? For the create contraption related stuff. So if we if we look at these, remember, like, this works like this, right? You can do that. Um, and you can do, like, what are those things called? Well, that's neat. Well, whatever the contraption thing is, it's, uh, I'll know it when I see it. That's, that's really, uh, linear chassis, right? And radial chassis. These guys is probably what I'll use, uh, to do a simple little kelp farm. Now we could do the rotational one, obviously, but I think I'm just going to do a, a, a mechanical piston with a couple uh, harvesters and we'll set that all up next episode. So let's wrap up here. We'll come back next time and we'll get kelp farming going. We'll get tree farming going and then we'll really start automating towards getting this up and running. Cool. For now, Dell 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.